Mac Voices is supported by ExpressVPN. Secure your surfing at expressvpn.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices at CES in Las Vegas. Folks, we're in the Hacks booth talking to Lauren about Cinemood, a very small, very cool little projector. Lauren, it's great to see you. Nice to see you, too. So tell me about Cinemood. So Cinemood is a small mini projector for families and kids. It was originally designed to be a standalone device and kind of bring a new interactive um, entertainment to families and kids and kind of get away from the iPhones and tablets that are, you know, such an individual experience. Um, this was kind of drives interaction within the family. It, it also provides a safe educational um, entertainment for kids as they are you know, being introduced to media and the whole digital environment of today's society. Um, the founders really wanted to give something that was safe and, and you know, ex give them that experience slowly as opposed to just letting them dive into the millions of apps and 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 get into trouble potentially um, <laughs> by, by themselves so uh, w with that said it, it's it's a really great device that um, won't have the same effects that like an iPhone or TVs have with kids today. So I don't know if you're familiar with the whole blue light concept and how dangerous it can be both uh, for your health and keeping you awake as well as for your eyesight. What Cinema does by projecting, it eliminates that blue light going directly into your eyes and therefore is a much safer way to experience um, content and videos and, and things like that today. And it lets the kids watch it with, with other kids and maybe with the parents knowing in the room knowing what the kids are watching. Exactly, exactly. So they know what they're watching, they know it's safe, all the preloaded content is handpicked by our team. Um, we also have some Disney content. We've, we have a partnership with Disney which is really um, exciting. We have some ebooks as well as cartoons. There's some even some safety videos from Timon and Pumbaa that, that help teach, you know, about fire safety, um, water safety, even, um, you know, online safety, so. So, so this comes with building or, yeah, building content, yep. but I can still put my next Netflix or YouTube or whatever on it. Yeah, Netflix and uh, YouTube as well as Amazon are actually integrated into the device. So all you do is uh, once you turn it on and get it set up, you log into your personal subscription. Um, and you can watch directly from the device. You don't have to have your phone mirroring and, and pulling data down from your phone. It, it'll work on Wi-Fi. We also have the ability to download content directly from Netflix and Amazon onto the device, and then you can watch it without Wi-Fi. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. I really like that. Um, how about my own content, if I have home movies? Yes, you can add your uh, your own movies. We have our mirroring function coming out at the end of the month, so you'll be able to take your iPhone and mirror directly to the device, and you can play any of your home movies, or you can uh, plug it up to your computer and download it. There's eight gigabytes gigabits of space, so it will uh, hold any, any of your content that you want. Very nice. And it looks like it's, I mean, it's rounded corners. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's not heavy. It's... Uh, would appear to be fairly durable. I would think yep. it's around kids. It needs to be. It, it is. We're it's significantly drop tested, so the uh, my kids especially have drop tested it up and down the stairs, and and it still works like a charm. <laughs> now, to be fair, this is not the best environment by any means for right. showing this off. So you're just projecting here onto a small white sheet. Yes. But you could. At, at, at what size do you start to lose the resolution or the, uh, the appreciation of what it is you're watching? So at about 12 feet, so that's putting the device at about 20 meters away. Um, it will expand up to 12 feet, which is about a typical garage door size, and it'll be at perfect clarity there. You can go bigger, but it, the resolution will m go down the farther away you get from that. Well, let's face it. I mean, look, look at the size of it. This is not supposed to be a professional device. This is a device for kids right. and home entertainment. Right. So. And that's, you know, a good point. One of the reasons why they developed it with a lower lumen um, number is so, so that it is safe for kids. Because the first thing that kids are going to do when they get any device that has a light on it is they shine it in their eyes. Typical projectors are going to damage your eyesight. So uh, because ours is a lower lumen count, it, it is safe for kids. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. So this is available now? It is available now. We are in uh, Target store, uh, select Target stores, uh, online at Target.com, Amazon.com, our website, Cinemood.com, and uh, a couple other smaller retailers, B&H Photo, and we uh, just uh, got into Best Buy Canada as well. Wow. 
congratulations. Thank That's you. great. That's yeah. great. Uh, what what price point do we have? So we are currently at three ninety nine in terms of MSRP, our MSRP and uh, we we promoted around three forty nine uh, most. Uh, in general throughout the year, and then we uh, go to 299 at holidays. Great. Um, and we should probably mention Hacks, since you're in the Hacks booth, yes. as to how Cinemood came to be. So Cinemood was actually uh, participated in the Hacks program. Um, they have been super supportive in terms of helping the company itself understand the U.S. market, uh, providing logistics support, buyer support. Um, they help uh, all the companies in their in their programs to develop meetings or get meetings, and then develop the content and presentations for those meetings. And will actually, you know, have helped us uh, talk with Apple and some of the bigger companies, especially in the San Francisco, Palo Alto area um, and have just really really provided great support to the company overall and continue to do it even though we're not in their their current batch well, it's great that, to, that you're here with them you know you get a place in at the big show to, yeah. to show off and it's a very cool little device it is thank you thank you so much for the time yeah thank you it was great to meet you nice to meet you folks we'll have more from CES in Las Vegas I'm Chuck Joyner this is Mac Voices Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.